Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Godspeed. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eye. So I'm going to move over to the left side and draw on the upper eyelid. We're going to start from the outside. We're going to curve in and then just pull it down towards the inside. Now we're going to leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So let's line up the inside of the eye. We're going to curve up and then just pull that out. From the outside of the eye, we're going to curve down and in towards the bottom of the eye. So let's start on the left, we'll curve down and in towards the middle. Now we're going to curve this back up towards the inside of the eye. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving down and then in towards the center of the eye. Now we're going to curve this back up towards the inside. On the inside of the eye, we're going to turn up the frown line. Starting on the left, we're going to curve in and then up. I want to leave a small gap in the center. Now we're going to add an eye wrinkle just on the inside of the eye. Starting on the left, we're going to curve down and then just taper that out. Now just above the eyes, we're going to pull the brow forward. So up here, we're going to draw a curve. The same curve as we have on the upper eyelid. Right up here, we're going to curve in and then down, leaving a small gap on the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now that we've drawn the eyes, let's draw on the bottom of the head. So we're going to move over towards the left from the eye. We're going to curve down and we're going to pull this in towards the bottom of the chin. Now we're going to work our way back up towards the right side. Going out and then up just beside the right eye. Now we're going to connect these two points with the top of the head. So it's almost like drawing a large circle. We're going to start on the left. We're going to curve this out slightly and start to bring that in over the top. Now we're going to make our way over and then down towards the right side, just pulling that in. Let's add two lightning bolt details on the side of the face. So on the left cheek, we draw an angled line coming down just below the eye and draw a straight line going up. Now we're going to continue that line coming down towards the chin. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. So we're going to line up the top, come down with an angle just underneath the eye. Now we're going to go straight up and then we're going to angle back down and in. From the tip of the lightning bolt, we're going to work our way back out towards the side of the head. So let's start on the left, we're going to angle out. We're going to come down with a short line. Now we're going to go all the way out towards the side of the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up. We're going to come down with a short line and then up and out towards the right side. Now I just want to add a chin piece along the bottom here. So just above the bottom of the chin, we're going to draw a short straight line going across. Now we're going to angle down and out. Let's go back up to the top of the head and add a trim. So we start on the top left corner of the eye. We're going to curve up and then in. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to curve out and up towards the top of the head. Now to the side of the head, we're going to add the earpiece. So in line with the top of the eye, step to the side of the head, we're going to curve out, and we're just going to pull that in. Do the same thing on the right, curving out, and then pulling that in. Let's add the two blades on the side of the earpiece. We're going to start at the very top here. We're going to go out, and then go up. Now we're going to take this point, curve out, and then in towards the bottom of the earpiece. Going out and start to pull that in towards the bottom. We do the same thing on the right, starting at the top of the earpiece, curve out and up to the same height. Now from here we're going to curve out and then pull that in towards the bottom of the earpiece. Now I want to show the inside of the blade, so we're going to take the top here, curve down and then in behind the earpiece. So now that we've drawn the face, let's work our way down the body. So we start just on either side of the chin, we're going to curve out and down towards the hip. So let's start on the left side, we're going to step down from the face, curve out, and then down towards the hip. We'll do the same thing on the right, curving out, and then down. From the hip, I want to add two lightning bolts coming in towards the center. So let's start on the left side, we're going to curve in and then down, and we'll do the same thing on the right side. From here, we're going to draw a short line going up. 
Now let's take these points and curve down towards the tip of the lightning bolt and leave a gap in the center. From this point, we want to work our way back towards the side of the body. Starting on the left, we're going to curve up, and then out. Do the same thing on the right. We want to make sure that we go past this line here. From this point, we're going to draw a short line coming down, and then we'll curve up and out towards the side of the body. Let's move to the center of the body and draw on the lightning bolt symbol. So from the center, we're going to move over towards the right, draw an angled line coming down towards the left. From here, we're going to draw a straight line going across. Now we're going to come back down towards the left. Now we want to work our way back up towards the top. So we'll take the bottom, we're going to angle out, we'll come in with a short line. Now we're going to connect those two points with a straight line. Just below the chin, we're going to add the collar. So in the center, we're going to step down just over the lightning bolt, draw a short line going across. From the left, we're going to angle up and out underneath the chin on the left and then on the right. From the top of this line, I just want to draw two hooks coming in. So we start the top on the left, curve down and then in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to taper this back out towards the side of the body. Now we're going to step down and draw another hook coming downwards. So leaving a little bit of space, we'll curve down and then in. Now we're going to taper this back out. Now let's go to the sides and draw on the arms. So I'm going to start about halfway along the side of the body, right up here. We're going to curve out and then down towards the wrist. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now back on the left, we're going to round out the thumb. We're going to draw a small half circle going around. At the end of the thumb, I'm going to draw a bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're going to swirl around the bracket and then go up. Then we're going to step back down, draw on the second finger, curving down and then up. The third finger is going to go all the way around the side of the arm in behind the head. So let's go out and then just pull that in. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. So we're going to start with the thumb, a small half circle. At the end of the thumb, we'll draw a bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're going to come down around the bracket and then go up. We're going to step back down, curve down and then back up for the second finger. Now the third finger is going to go all the way up underneath the head out. I'm just going to pull that in. Now let's draw on the edge of the glove. We're going to start from the wrist at the top of the thumb. We're going to go up with a curve towards the top. From here we're going to curve down in the opposite direction towards the outside of the arm. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the wrist, we'll curve up and out. And then we'll curve down and out towards the right. Now let's add a detail on the top of the arm. We start at the top of this line here, we we'll curve out and then down, we'll do the same thing on the right, and then from here it's going to curve up towards the top of the arm. Now from this line I'm going to step down and we're going to curve across and then a little bit lower down the arm, about halfway down the arm, and I'm going to hook this back up towards the side of the arm. Let's do the same thing on the right. From here we're going to step down, follow that same curve, coming down about halfway down the arm, curve it back up. Now let's move down and draw on the legs. So in the center we're going to step down and draw a curve from left to right going up and then down. On the left side I'm going to step in, we're going to curve out and then down towards the left heel. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's round out the bottom of the feet. From heel to toe we'll curve down and then back up. And then from the toe, we're going to round up the top of the foot. So I'm going to take this point here. We're going to curve up and in. Now we're aiming towards the heel, but we're going to stop right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving up and aiming towards the heel. Now that we're going to go back up towards the hip, curve out the side of the leg on top of the foot. Starting on the left, we're going to go out and then pull it straight down. Now let's move back down and draw on the sole. So from the toe, we're going to step up at the top here. We're going to curve down, leaving a little space at the bottom. Now we're just going to hook that back up, leaving a little space at the end here. From this point, we're going to go straight across towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Lining up the top, coming down. Now we're going to pull this back 
up and we'll go straight across towards the inside of the leg. Let's add a little bit of detail to the legs. So from the hip, we're gonna step down, curve down and then in. We'll mirror that same thing on the right side. Now from here, we're gonna do a hard turn curving out. Now we're not gonna go all the way to the side of the leg. We wanna leave a little bit of space. And then from here, I'm gonna taper it back up with a short line to right about there. Now I'm gonna follow that same curve going out towards the side of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving up. Now following that same curve to the side of the leg. Now we're gonna draw one more point on the inside of the leg. So from the lower torso, we're gonna step down, curve across and over, and then I'm gonna taper this back in. We're gonna take that and flip it over on the right. So starting at the top, curve down and out. We'll taper this back towards the inside of the leg. And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Godspeed. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.